My whole ministry is dedicated towards dealing with the epidemic of sorcery in South Africa. It is so bad that I personally am making big fat chunky plans to get out of here permanently and never come back. I don't even know how it's gonna happen. All I know is that I'm working like a dog to be more internationally attached than I am South Africa attached. Because the situation here is so bad that being a Christian you can't possibly survive without having a barrage of insults coming at you from all over the streets, from people who are severely involved into ancestral worship, witchcraft, mixing Christianity with all different kinds of dingy stuff. Our lives are hard here because they refuse to let us be Christian, despite calling themselves Christian, seeing as they're mixing it with their darkness. Thanks to all that, I am being literally coerced by women who are living in a country that is the worst one to live in as a woman because of gender-based violence. We are the most famous idol country in the, in the world, on the planet. We are the most slapped women on the earth, most disregarded, verbally abused, derailed women on the earth. Those are the stats of South Africa. And women with those stats that every so often when one of us dies and the stuff gets covered in the news media, trend on X, things like hashtag am I next, hashtag men are trash. These very same women that claim to be standing with women that are saddened at the death of a woman at the hands of another man in the run-up to the death of this woman tend to have been the ones to pretty much push her to that menace women throw each other under the bus so severely in this country it's ridiculous they throw each other to hiv positive men knowing that they're positive hoping to get their girls infected they throw each other to abusive violent men men that are known to be prolific players men that are known to have no regard for women misogynistic entirely chauvinistic and what's also worse is that if a woman is smart enough to realize this for what it is and then highlights that girl i can't be with this guy because of abc or if she's in a relationship with him and says i gotta leave him because of def this woman the, these women in their caucus of insanity will then go on right ahead to counsel this woman to stay give him a chance because it's rough out there with love and romance and then they then are the ones to mourn, to cry, to complain, to lament when a woman gets beaten until she's in hospital or when a woman ends up dead altogether. They're always the first ones to hold placards up saying hashtag am I next when really and truly they put the woman who died in a position to die.